Hey there and welcome back. In today's video, we are diving into essential feature for many apps, searching and filtering a list based on user input. Whether you are creating a shopping app, a contact list, or any other application that handles lists, having a robust search and filter functionality is crucial. Today, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of implementing this in Flutter, making it easy for your users to find exactly what they are looking for. So let's get started and bring this powerful feature to like. Let's start by creating a search text field. In this field, we want to search for contacts that have a name and an image. To begin, I created a list of contacts with six different entries. Back in the main file, we need to create this list of contacts in our state. Under the search bar, we will display a list view and inside this list view, each contact will be shown in a list style with an image and the contact name. Now, we want to filter the contacts based on the search input. Every time the text in the search field changes, we call the search contact method. This method filters the contacts list by checking if the contact names contains the search input. The filtered list is then updated in the state. If the user input is empty, meaning they have cleared everything, we simply display the default list of contacts. This way, the list below the search bar is always filtered according to the search input. Next, when we click on one of the contacts, we will navigate to a new page called the contact page. On this page, we will display the contact's name in the app bar and the contact's image in the body of the scaffold. In summary, we can click on the contact to navigate to a new page where we see the contact's name and image. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Your support helps me to create more content like this and reach a wider audience. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.